So the last thing that we need to do in our game is add sounds. So the construct tool will only import wave files and mp3 files. So the first thing I need to do, is I'm going to look at the project's layout and I'm going to look at sounds and I'm going to right click on sounds and click on import sounds. And I've given you a couple of uh, pop sounds in here. I'm going to select bubble pop and press open. So I'm going to select bubble pop dot wave and click import and then press OK. Now that I have imported the sounds for my pop bubble, the next thing I want to do is in my layout, I want to add a new object. So I'm going to right click, insert new object, and I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I'm going to look for audio. And I'm going to click insert. Now that I have added an audio object into my layout, I need to program it. So I need to create an event for it. So I'm going to go to event sheet one and I'm going to look for the event that says touch on touch SPR bubble. This is where when the bubble is clicked, it is destroyed. So I'm going to put the sound in here. So I'm going to click add action and I'm going to select audio and press next. And then I'm going to select play and click next my bubble pop is selected not looping I don't want it to loop volume is zero and tag is optional but I like to put it in here tag is just a name that's associated with the sound uh, just in case in future if you'd want to do some actions like mute it or something so I'm just going to call it as pop and press done now I'm going to drag this audio and drop it on the top so every time I click on it, the sound happens and it explodes into different particles and it's destroyed. So I'm going to click run and see if it works. Okay, the sound works, but I don't like this pop sound. You could use the other pop sound that I put in there. That's actual pop sound. 